Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, I just wanted to let you know how we can connect Jira using Grafana and visualize the data using Grafana. So basically, I got this request from one of the group members who is part of the Telegram group. He wanted to know how to get data from Jira. Now, there are two ways to do it. If you are an enterprise user of Grafana, in that case, there is a Jira plugin which you can just use and you'll be able to just provide the jira credentials and you'll be able to visualize the complete data so that's the easiest way but most of the people who are using grafana they are using open source version of grafana and they don't have that plugin so in that case basically the approach which we can follow is we can write a python program so here you can see i have just written a python program which is going to pull the data from jira and it is going to keep the data from jira in the csv file and i'm scheduling this file every one minute so this is going to run every one minute and going to pull the latest data and going to re replace the existing file with the basically the new file so every one minute we have the updated data and again depending on your requirement you can pull the fields which you need just for this example i'm only pulling like six seven fields but again depending on whatever is your requirement you can you can pull all those required fields now some of the important thing here is that we are we need to have this jira module so you make sure you install it using pip if you are working on python if you don't want to use python you can just use rest api as well but i think using python and then using jira module is just going to make things easier and then here we need to define jira credentials so here you can see i have given jira server details which is basically a cloud instance i have created so this is the address which we need to give and after that we need to provide jira username and jira password now password here is going to be token so make sure you go to jira and create a token again whosoever is your jira administrator will be able to share that detail with you and apart from that you can just copy paste this program anyways i'm going to give the link of this github in the description so you'll be able to follow along and that's it basically once we have the program ready our program is going to generate a csv file and i'm keeping this csv file here you can keep the csv file at whatever location you want and in that and then we are going to go to uh, grafana and we are going to go to connections uh, by the way sorry i have sore throat so my voice is not really good i'm i'm not able to speak properly but anyway uh, so here we're going to go to add new data sources and we are going to search for csv and we can name it jira or whatever name you want to give it just give that name and here if you want if you are keeping this a uh, file let's say on aws or any other like online repository in that case you can select http but in my case i'm just keeping the file on the server so i'm just going to select local and provide the path of the file here so here you can see this path is basically same path which i have given in the program so i'm creating the file here so i'm using that path then you can click on save and test if everything is okay you are going to see a success message there might be some uh, permission restrictions so just make sure if you are getting some error just make sure there is no permission issues you are facing most probably it is going to be permission issues otherwise everything is going to be okay and you will see a success message and after that we can just once we see a success message we can go on to explore data and here in the explore data you can see right now i have uh like how many one two three four five like five tasks and here you can see status of those here you can see a sign in now here you can see i just have like five backlogs you are going to see only that data here now just go ahead and click on add to dashboard and we are going to add this data just click on new dashboard and then open dashboard now here this this probably can be a detail panel you can call it a detail data i'm just going to rename the panel and call it jira issue detail now you may want to create some summary as well for example let's say you want to show how many total projects you have in that case just duplicate it and then we are going to edit the first one and here now i'm not going to use this one i'm going to use now stat panel and here you can just scroll down and you can come to calculation and here you can use count and then here in the fields in numeric field you can just select a project now here you can see we are getting five but of course we don't have five projects uh, we have only one project as of now which is called scrum so we we need to use distinct count rather than just count so change it to distinct count and also change the title here let's call it total projects so if you create more projects it is going to get updated automatically now i'm going to just duplicate it again and we are going to show how many issue types we have so we can just uh, yeah we already duplicated let's go to edit and now we can just select here issue type and this you can see right now you have basically two different issue types or if you just want to count total issues you can just change it to count it is going to basically count total issues so i'm just going to do that for now let's call it total issues 
click on apply now let's say we want to show the count by status so in that case let's go ahead and duplicate this one and let's go to edit and now make sure you remove existing calculation i'm just going to remove this and uh, change fields to numeric fields and then go to transformation or transform data and here we can apply group by so just go to group by select group by and then we can select status and here we can select group by and here in assignee also we are going to just select it calculate and we are going to use count here now you can see we have four items in to do and one item in in progress i'm just going to change it from stat to bar gauge and also you can just uh, scroll down i think we can use horizontal it's gonna look better click on apply so uh, basically you got the idea right so i'm not going to like uh, extend this lesson quite long so this is how basically we can show like how many total projects we have how many total issues are there and also you can change the refresh rate to five second and i'm just going to go ahead and create one more issue so you'll be able to see that data is getting updated in real time or not i'm just going to keep it bug and let's call it there is a fix required on the code and let's give some number to the code and that's it basically someone let's say made a change here now it is just going to wait for a minute because our program is running like every minute and then once the data is updated like new csv file is generated we are going to see the updated data here so let's wait for a few seconds and hopefully we are going to see the updated data and here you can see now we have uh, total issues changed to six because now we have one more issue coming here issue type is bug so here you can see we have now one item like five items in to do and then there is one item in in progress we can also show the count by issue types so i'm just going to duplicate it and show the count by count by issue type and here again in the transform data you just uh, group it by issue type and that's it now you have count by issue type and this is count by status so i'm just gonna change it to count by status so that's all in this lesson i hope this made sense and you'll be able to perform or create dashboard now and ideally i would request if you can pull the data and probably keep it in some time series database like influxdb or probably in some other uh, time series database like graphite so that's going to make things easier but if you want to just you know get going quickly in that case you can just use this csv uh, csv approach this is going to work perfectly as well so that's all in this lesson guys see you again in the next lesson